Marie, I love her, man. She is like, she's like bomb.com. She's got it figured out, man. She's just, she's on fire. She's a Hellcat, man. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, welcome to the After Chat. We haven't done this in a while. It's been quite a while. Yeah, 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 but it's good to hear your voice again. And, you know, we're not doing Zoom or anything like this. We always did it. We always did it on tape recorders or, uh, <laughs> or on the phone. There you go. Way back. So recently in the news, um, you know, there was a quote. From Hulk Hogan, and I think he was on Twitter too, that uh, you want to become president. So, you know, in this crazy presidential uh, election time, this is like uh, an Ali Fraser type of situation where it's fight fever, Hogan Andre type of fever here. Um, if you were hypothetically running for office, what's, what's your platform? Well, let's go ahead and go with the news that you read apparently believe yes. um, I did not say that Okay, I had someone say to me something about political office uh, what would you do it's, I, I can't remember what it was but I said well if I was the president and vice president I'd run on a flat tax and a lot of common sense because I know right from that was it never said I wanted to be president or vice president but that would be the platform and I was misquoted so all right. Many years ago, in 2000, Ted Turner talked me into going on Arsenio Hall and saying I was running for the um, position of President of the United States after about two, three months of incredible positive feedback. I kind of get scared, so I thought it might win. <laughs> so um, I backed right out of that, but, you know, I would never. Uh, no, I did say uh, that, and it was just a, a joke. Some, something said about politics or whatever. I just said, well, if I was the president, vice president. I just I said, said flat tax and common sense. Who would uh, so, who would your vice president be? Vice president. Yeah, who would if you had to pick somebody? I don't care. Be. <laughs> All right, I'm not available. I have no idea. No okay. politics for me. All right, no, good, good. Now you met uh, way, way back. Um, uh, Donald Trump had several. Uh, WWE uh, pay-per-views, of course, at uh, Trump Plaza. You met him. What kind of guy was he when you knew him? I have that classic John Barrett shot of you, Andre, and Trump in the middle. What uh, what was he like back then? Yeah, well, Vince McMahon ran at the Trump Plaza for us in 94 or 5. He was very gracious, nice guy, huge wrestling fan. Um, just took a couple pictures where they talked to him just for a moment. But uh, very cordial. You know, seemed uh, easy going. You know, seemed like a uh, seemed really had a twinkle on his eye. He had that, like in the wrestling business, you know, if you got that bit factor, you have an opportunity of maybe if you work hard enough, becoming an attraction someday. Just not a normal wrestler, just not a normal champion. You, you can become an attraction that will change the business or carry the the company on back. That's just a rock or stone cold, but. um it was a situation he had that chemical on his eye, he had the factor. Yeah, yeah. Check out Brain Buster, the daily quiz that tests your WWE knowledge with winning streaks, stats, and more. It's time to see if you're up for the challenge. Roman Reigns and Rhea Ripley, who's made such an impact and all that. Just give a little uh, um, spiel about each of them, if you don't mind. Rhea, I love her, man. She is like, she's like, bomb.com she's got it figured out man she's just she's on fire she's a hellcat man i just it looked like she heard her arm just pointing or doing something over the top rope is that how she heard her that's arm? what it looked like to me as well yeah you gotta stay tight there man you know even when you don't have an opponent right you can't be just you know throwing your arm over the turnbuckle or flopping around out there you can, you can hurt yourself i believe i've I was clumsy enough in there. I, if not someone else took care of me, I'd probably hurt myself in there. But you know, uh, she's uh, she's on fire, man. I think she's her and Charlotte are neck and neck, and then Ripley's got a little little extra gas in her tank whenever she needs it. So that's really fun to watch. Before I let you go, uh, one last question: You look at who's around today. If Hulk Hogan was in his prime, in championship days, 
Who's the guy today that you would love to get into the ring with? Well, there would be there would be two of them. Okay. There'd be two. Of them. Sure. Uh, oh God, I have my brother so far. Gosh, it's a bunch of. <laughs> but if if I really could uh, jump in the ring with somebody today, if Roman Reigns was a baby face, he he should. Uh, I think Hollywood Hogan could get him oh, up like he's before. I would love to work with Roman. And my other two guys would be uh, Seth and CM Punk. I think we got some crazy business. Okay. So both against Hollywood? Yes. Yes. I got to tell you, when I ask people who are not wrestling fans just to name a wrestler, your name always comes up. And the other thing that always comes up with it is the leg drop on Macho Man Randy Savage. You know, they say that, quote-unquote, sports entertainment changed the wrestling business. That leg drop changed the way people look at heels, bad guys, forever. Yeah, it kind of made it cool to be evil. Yeah, 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 that's that's true. Cool to be evil. Could be your, uh, could be a title of your next book. Yeah, definitely. I'd listen yeah. to, hold on, let me, uh, um, oh, where can people find you on social media? Uh, You're all over the place, right? I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, X. Yeah, 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 Twitter. Yeah, I don't know where I'm at there. My Twitter doesn't work anymore, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, with you and you and I got hacked the same day, by the way. Oh, God. yes, yes, yes. So, I'm going to hit off the recording here for a minute. Um, Hulk Hogan, thank you so very much. For, uh, for all your friendship through the years and always, you know, letting me do these uh, these things. Uh, and this is Bill After for Sports Kida. Wrestle Binge, we'll see you at the matches.